Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're doing a Lazarus daily today. Looks like it goes to Satan. Okay, addicted. addicted. That's kind of a terrible pill, but uh, at least we didn't take it in a room where we could take damage afterwards. Yumheart is pretty useless. So sacrifice room. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll see if we can make something happen here. Got to be a little careful. There we go. We'll deal with the boy in the middle there last. There we go. We're gonna have to decide if we want to die on this floor and come back as like awakened Lazarus or whatever. We may want to. It's really gonna depend on if we get HP, uh, either from a heart or something along those lines. You know, spirit hearts. Any of that kind of stuff. There's a self-sacrifice room, so I suppose we could do it that way. Uh, actually, having that troll bomb there is pretty good for us. Let's put this here. See... Okay, there is a spirit heart. I'm thinking we probably do want to die. It's going to depend on uh, our boss item. We'll take the Ansus rune with us next time. But... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go fight the boss. Duke of Flies. Piece of cake. No big deal. Fairly easy to deal with. Careful. He is champion, which is a little annoying. Careful. Don't get hit by these annoying little dudes here. And we just want to stay on him as best we can and try to avoid taking... Ah, I got hit. That's okay. It's fine. There's no deal riding on this. And taking a half heart of damage is not really going to affect us too much in the grand scheme of this battle. But if you could stop summoning dudes, like, that would be very much appreciated. Okay. This battle is taking way, way, way too long. Uh, and I think I may have just kind of... Careful. I got hit again. Okay, it's fine. We'll use Yum Heart. This is like the longest Duke of Flies fight I have ever had. <laughs> Come on. I just need to hit him like once more. There we go. He's dead. Okay. So. Don't get hit again. That would be just embarrassing. What do we got here? Latch key. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I think you go back to the self-sacrifice room, you die, intentionally. I don't think we'll really get a whole lot of benefit right here. But, we have enough spirit hearts and stuff on the ground that uh, we should be still, like, perfectly okay. Take that. We know we have a spirit heart back in the boss room as well. And then latch key will also give us... A spirit heart and a couple of consumables and we're down in the next floor so we're still fine from like an hp perspective we've managed to get our stat upgrades from becoming awakened lazarus uh let's just use ansus we took a little longer on that first floor than i would have liked so we're gonna have to kind of go oh that was just horrible damage um we're gonna kind of have to go a little bit faster than the normal here to kind of catch up but it's okay quarter is fine uh, head of the Keeper would be lovely. Okay, no Head of the Keeper. That's fine. Uh, let's put a bomb here. Check out our secret room. Gives us a bunch of extra money. We'll put a bomb here as well. Just to save ourselves a little bit of time. Ah, oh, come on. Stupid Stony. I'm a little upset with myself about that damage. We know that this is our second secret room, so let's check this out. Uh, and at least there's a spirit heart in here to make it, you know, semi-worthwhile. Because the, the red hearts aren't really doing anything for us. Uh, this room should be fine. Don't get hit. There we go. Grab the bomb. Okay. Alright, there we go. We're through the worst of it. And we definitely want to check out our shop, since we have a ton of money, mostly thanks to the quarter. Uh, and I think you definitely want to buy PhD. And then honestly, let's buy placebo as well. 
because PhD plus placebo is a fairly decent combo, especially if we start getting some stat upgrade pills like the speed upgrade that we're holding right now. That means our speed is pretty much guaranteed to be good. And then on top of that, if we can get like, um, like a tears up pill would be like the ideal sort of pill for us to get here, but. All right, pin's dead. Uh, definitely want magic mush. Swing in here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay. So it's going to be one of those runs. <laughs> kind of regret taking uh, Magic Mush beforehand, but still, it's perfectly fine. Um, oh, Tammy's head brimstone? Yes. So basically, we win. I mean, that's, that's really what it comes down to here. And we know that uh, we are... Actually, you know what? We can just do it that way. We don't have to use a bomb. Okay. Now, the question is, do you want to check the cursed room? The answer is maybe. There is a possibility that our secret room borders our cursed room. Let's put a bomb here just to check. That is our secret room, so we can get into our cursed room for free. I don't think you want Eye of Greed. I don't think A, it does anything. Uh, let's use this Ansu's rune again. Trying to make up a little bit of time, remember? Although with Brimstone, it's quite likely that we won't really need to. Uh, if I can, there we go. Lovely, see what we got in here. Odd Mushroom, worth it. I think Odd Mushroom does make us bigger, <laughs> again along with Magic Mush, so that that is something to kind of be a little bit concerned with, but. So tears upgrade, I think is really the big thing that we want more than anything else. Let's check, uh, excuse me, uh, just kidding. The secret room is up here. Thank you. Wow, that's actually a lot of spirit hearts. Uh, and 48 hour energy is great. Okay, you're dead. Polydactyl, we will take. Balls of steel, we will use. Balls of steel. And these, like, neither one of them are, are good enough. Uh, let's just go. Let's just go down to the next floor. We're gonna skip a couple rooms here, but, like, we had the Ansus rune, so we know there's nothing that good in any of them. And this way, we are a lot more sure that we're gonna make our, uh, our boss rush, because we need to. Like, on a run like this, it is absolutely essential that we make boss rush. Uh, and I will absolutely take the left hand. Try to become Guppy. Hello, Tinted Rock. More bombs, more spirit hearts. There we go. Am I still missing one? Yeah, a little, missed a little guy over there. Uh, check out this. We'll do it. Okay. There we go. Tammy's head again, please. No guppy items, but that's fine. We'll continue onwards. Tammy's head is going to give us such a huge advantage when it comes to clearing rooms. Uh, we don't want that. There we go. Let's check this out. What do we got? Nothing we're super interested in yet again. We can always use our uh, our 48 hour energy on a boss. There we go. Let's fight this boss. It's Gertie. Easiest fight of our life. Goodbye. Uh, matchbook is not great, but. Um. I'd like to go find our shop. We're going to have time. We're definitely going to have time. So I'm not overly concerned here. I mean, we've basically cleared the caves too before 10 minutes. And here's our shop. Uh, I don't think we really care about any of that. I mean, yeah, Pokey Go is like, okay. But I just, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Let's check here for a secret room real quick. And that is it. Gave us five cents. Okay. Uh, this could be our second secret room, and it isn't. All right, so let's head down. Grab that, down we go. The run is just absurdly strong. I mean, it, Tammy's head brimstone, like, 
it doesn't get much better than that. There we go. There we go again. Swing in here. What do we got? Number two. Eh, I'm going to pass. Okay. At least we got our spirit heart back. Probably should have used telepills right there to get out, but... If that had put us into, like, a an I am error room, that would have been a little rough. I think you definitely want to take the backpack. Because it gives us the option to have some other spacebar item that might be useful. This definitely feels like a secret room to me. And it is. Okay. There we go. Uh, check this out. Library. Library's great. So, this will give us bookworm. I think we'll take... Ultimately, Book of Shadows and uh, Tammy's Head. I think that's the way to go. And we can use Book of Shadows at the proper opportunity. We'll find times to make it work for us. We get an orbital, any of that kind of stuff. It'll be pretty decent. Good against bosses as well. Give us a few minutes of invinci- or a, a few- I think it's like 30 seconds of invincibility or something like that. Ah, don't- no! Yeah, 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 that was stupid. Uh, I do see that tinted rock there. We will go back for it. We could use small rock for a little bit of a damage upgrade or something. Or just a chest. I can see forever, sure. I can see 48 hour energy, forever. I think that's gonna be better. So, since we know that uh, we can find all of our secret rooms like that, Oh, that's uh, Book of Shadows. That is not Tammy's head. That's okay. Totally fine. We're basically looking for our second secret room right now. We also do want to find a seam of some sort. Where is this secret room at? Ah, there it is. Okay. Probably not worth it to backtrack that far, but whatever. Um, so really what we're looking for, as I said, is a seam. Some some way that will allow us to make it... Uh, well, actually, you know what we should probably do is just uh, fight Hush and then go to the Void. That's probably the smart thing. Uh, I'll totally take Experimental Treatment. Damage Upgrade. Big Tears Downgrade, which stinks. But it was a Damage Upgrade. Also gave us a, a, an HP Upgrade as well, so we can trade away a little bit more in a deal. I think that's fine. Uh, not a great room here. And let's be honest, like, Tammy's head is going to allow us to essentially kill everything without too many problems. Gemini's fine. More spirit hearts are also fine. This is probably a dice room of some sort. Ooh, redo the... Okay, redo the floor. So, uh, what are we on? We are on the Depths 2. We probably want to do that, if I'm being honest. I don't think you can get the, the bonus for fighting boss rush twice. Uh, let's use I can see forever. Ah! I messed that one up, but... Uh, please? Brimstone, fire? Come on. Pop down. There we go. Okay. I think we do absolutely have time to do this floor twice. What we're really looking for is a teleport card in this, at least that's what we're looking for now. Um, none of this is interesting or useful. Actually, what was, what color was telepills? Is that telepills? No, it's a tears up, which is actually great and very much needed. Speed upgrade, also great. Speed up. And then we'll see what this is as well. I can see forever again. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Swing in here. What do we got? Ooh, Dim Bulb is great. But I'm kind of on this, like, I want Guppy sort of dream right now. I'm not... Ah, man. I don't think we're going to get a chance, though, to... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a chance to, to teleport out of this room. Oh, maybe we will. It's plausible. We could get what we need in here. Blow those up. Nope, we didn't. That's fine. 
Okay. So, bearing that in mind, we're going to stick... Like, Dim Bulb is great. No doubt. However, I think we're better off sticking with the left hand for now. We're going to clear all these rooms again. And we want to use I Can See Forever here. Okay. Uh, Troll Bomb, go away. Leave me alone. Thank you. Okay, don't have a way to get into that boss trap room currently. Oh, there are spikes there, self. Don't do that. You fool. Blow this up. Check that out. Hey, there's a guppy item. We'll use it once. I do want to stick with Tammy's head, though. The big thing is just I, I wanted the... I want the guppy item. Check this out. What do we got? Another speed upgrade. Speed up. And there is our boss fight and boss rush. So, swing over here. Still got to find our item room. There we go. Grab this. Steam sales lovely since we're going to hush. That could be good. Come on. Okay. We also know that there's a tears upgrade in our pill rotation. And we're very happy about that as well. What have we got in here? Let's just blow this up, see what we get. Okay, half spirit heart. I'm fine with that. I think we're honestly in like a pretty good spot on this run. Uh, we will check out the cursed room. It ended up probably not being worth it. Yeah, it was very not worth it. That's okay. We have found all of our secret rooms and all that kind of stuff. We're going to have Tammy's head brimstone for boss rush. Like, life is good. Easiest boss fight ever. Uh, we want to go Polaroid. We definitely want to check this out. Uh, I don't honestly want Brother Bobby, so I'm just going to take Lord of the Pit for the ability to fly. And actually, we're going to blow up this Tinted Rock before I go fight Boss Rush, which is going to teleport me. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, between these, you definitely want Yo Listen. Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead. There we go. Come here, you. Lovely. Ah, I could really go for another tears upgrade. That would be very good. Okay, I like it when they're both right there. That's that's like the ideal spot. Definitely get rid of Brownie first, because he's the more annoying of the two. Okay, you're dead. You're also dead. There we go. Cage is not dead. There we go. And now we got to deal with the frail. Okay, there we go. Easy enough. We're just flying through these enemies pin, I think. Yeah, super easy. Again, super easy. Okay, that's the end of that, dude. Send your little haunts after me, see if I care. So far, so good. We're killing it right now. This is beautiful. This is gonna be a very fast boss rush. We lose a lot of our hitting power. Did I kill? Ah, I didn't kill the dark one. Or the, uh, not dark one. The adversary. Ah, that was not the good place to stand, I must say. We could totally just use Book of Shadows here. And if we use that, like, every couple of waves, like, we should basically be immune to taking any more damage. There we go. Take Chemical Peel. Grab that. Any other spirit hearts or anything like that along here? No. All right. Down we go. We are definitely going to want to fight Hush. Uh, 
Grab the key, please. Thank you. There we go. And then we're going to want to follow Hush up by fighting Delirium. <laughs> At least I think. And Navi will help us find our secret rooms and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, that is not the way that I wanted you to fire. Back away. Okay, what are you? I'm drowsy. Actually amazing against Hush. So we'll take that with us. There's one of our bosses and our second secret room. Let's check this out. Okay, don't care. Conquest, not really what we're hoping for, honestly. So if we could get our hands on like a Perthro rune, that would be great. There we go. Oh, he ran right for me. What a jerk. There's our other secret room, it appears. There's a second Guppy item. If we become Guppy, we will be in like a such a better spot. Grab this back. Okay. There we go. So we got two Guppy items now. There's another secret room. Not a very good one, but whatever. Uh, we do want to explore... Oh, Balls of Steel is great. We do want to explore essentially all of this floor, if possible. Perks. Okay. Oh, the red poop. How dare you? That's fine. Oh, it's a double tinted rock. Okay. Even better. That gets us basically back to full HP. We're gonna... Find ourselves. Sacrifice! Saw it, but I couldn't react fast enough. The stupid red poops. I kind of feel like red poops shouldn't damage you when you're flying. But, you know, it's okay. It's fine. There we go. Is that all of the floor? That is the whole floor. All right. Away we go, onwards. So we got a 48 hour energy and an I'm drowsy. Um, honestly. I think we're going to swap the 48-hour energy out for that perks pill. Come to think of it. So we can have half damage and then I'm drowsy when we fight Hush or Delirium for that matter. One or the other. Might be better to save it for Delirium just because Delirium certainly the hardest, the harder boss. And I think honestly is like affected more by I'm drowsy. Like, I, I think I'm drowsy has more, how do you even explain what I'm trying to say right now? I think the difference that I'm drowsy makes when it comes to like how hard the fight is, I don't know if this even works with brimstone, but I'm gonna try. Well, we'll see. Um, the difference that I'm drowsy makes, I think is larger on the delirium fight than it is on the Hush fight. Like, I know, obviously, it does the same thing to each fight, but I think um, I'm Drowsy is just better against Hush, or uh, against Delirium. Just because of all the, the telefragging and stuff that Delirium does. There we go. I can see forever. Might as well pop that. One makes you small. I'm actually really happy about that because we were fairly large. Give me another Guppy item, please. Just one. Telepills. Tears up. That's great. That was actually worth it, for sure. And, I, okay, we didn't actually spend any keys to go in there. But even if we had spent two keys, two keys for a tears upgrade, sign me up. Absolutely. Okay. We don't want any of that stuff. Although, actually, a second I'm drowsy wouldn't necessarily be bad. Okay. Okay. We will pop Pandora's box and get the Bible. Okay. Oh, uh, Tammy's head didn't charge. Okay, that's fine. We'll do it the old fashioned way without Tammy's head. There we go. And then I'll pick up the Bible mostly just so we never see it again. Okay, easy enough. I just need like one more guppy item. That's it. Hematemesis. New. No. Finding a lot of red chests. 
Oh, there we go, we're guppy. Okay, so that is immensely helpful, but right before our hush fight. I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, swing over here, check these out. I think, given, well, we can get in there for free, so we might as well. Okay, now I think you drop the left hand. Now that we're guppy, it's just not needed anymore. See what this is? Okay. I like spirit hearts. Spirit hearts are good. Blow you up. Thankfully, we have golden keys or we would be spending a few more than I would like. Um, I think I'm going to go back for that, um, uh, that other I'm drowsy pill. Right here. So we'll take two I'm drowsies with us. The idea being that we can use one on hush and then we can use one on delirium. Because we're going to be fighting Delirium. For sure. Uh, I think we've already been in here, right? Yeah, that was where we got Eye of Belial. And then I don't think we want the Eternal Heart. We're just going to head down. <clears throat> we're just going to head down to the next floor. Let's check this first, see what's in here. Uh, probably nothing we want, but a two-cent Spirit Heart is probably worth our time. Okay. What do we got over here? Halo. Uh, I mean, Halo would ruin permanent Polaroid invincibility, but it would do a lot of other good stuff for us, too. To the point where I think it's worth it. We'll take the Halo. And then I'll take uh, Bob's Curse over Hemolacria. Is this a... Uh, ooh, hello, crawl space. What do we got? Just a bunch of money in a chest. Lots of money. Okay, well, money is good. I like money. And then... No tinted rocks, right? Not that it really matters, honestly, because we've got full HP. I don't think we want any of that. I think we're just gonna go for it. Like, uh... uh actually, blow this up. Check for a tears upgrade or something. Pretty fly? That's good. Balls of steel? Also good. We may want to use that afterwards. We're not going to use Tammy's head yet. We're going to save it for uh, Big Hush. But we will use it. Tammy's head brimstone, though, obviously, is a pretty potent combo. There we go. And there's no... We don't have Lump of Coal, so we don't need to be super, super far away. Although... It does make it a lot easier to land some of the, like, to dodge some of these shots that fall away farther. Okay, anytime you want to pop up. There we go. And now we can switch over to Book of Shadows, which we will use at the opportune time, which is not yet. We'll find the time, but it's not yet. Probably when he starts doing uh, lightning beams and stuff. Or the, the big beams of light. I think that's probably going to be when we want to use uh, Book of Shadows to protect us. So we can get that final damage in. There we go. When it becomes harder to dodge all of his shots. I love the fact that the continuum shots aren't making it over here. <laughs> that's awesome for me. I got hit, excuse me. I don't think I was anywhere near where those things could actually hit me. But if you say so, game, I'll take your word for it. I hit again, dude, stop. Hit twice. I mean, hit. if you make it through a hush fight and you only get hit twice, we're gonna use Book of Shadows right here. And then, of course, he's immediately going to pop down because he's a little jerk. Really wish you would pop back up, Hush. Oh, and Book of Shadows has apparently worn off right there. This is a horrible place to be. Okay. Where is he? There he is. I have, like, so many flies. Yeah, there we go. He's dead. Okay. So we're good. 
We want to use Balls of Steel for sure. Might as well buy this just to see what it is. I can see forever. I'm okay with that. It's worth taking down to the next floor. And then we want to go down to Delirium. Uh, excuse me? There we go. I was going to say, will it let me down? I want to go down. There we go. So we will pop I can see forever. Switch back to Tammy's head. And we'll just use that to clear, like, every room forever. Hello, Tinted Rock. Grab that. I think we got the win here. It's just a matter of, like, how, uh, how much damage can we avoid taking? I think that's really what it comes down to. Strength card? Uh, there's something to be said for strength card, except actually, come to think of it, we already have magic mush. That was a, a horrible idea. I shouldn't have used Tammy's head right there. Uh, did I not use I Can See Forever? I'm confused as to why it didn't show. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, no, I definitely used I Can See Forever. Why did it not appear? Whatever. Who cares? Let's see what we get here. Hmm. Nothing I'm super interested in. Uh, that could be Delirium over there, so I don't want to... I don't want to fight that just yet. There we go. Ooh, careful. We made it. We're fine. This could also be Delirium, but it isn't. 99 bombs. That is huge from a score perspective. That's a very nice point bonus. There we go. Another nice and easy room. Now if I could get like skeleton key. Uh, sun card is actually awesome for us. Because it shows me where everything important is on the entire floor. So, let's see. What could... There's so many here that could be delirium. Uh, okay. Tell you what. Start over this way. Also, sack of sacks. Thank you for existing. Uh, yeah. We'll take an Empress card with us, I think. For when we ultimately do find delirium. And we want to probably clear, like, all of this floor just because we have so much exploration bonus here that we can take on. And thanks to Tammy's head, like, we should be completely okay from a damage perspective. Like, I think it's very plausible that we can make it through the rest of this floor without taking damage. Come on, pop up. There we go, you're dead. This room, on the other hand, is horrible. There we go. Those are the rooms that we would take damage on. Right there. The rooms... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's take a stars card with us. I like the idea. Because then, if we do run into Delirium, we can teleport out and come back. Careful. Lovely. Pajamas uh, is, like, good. If all else fails. Essentially, that's kind of my thinking there. Death. Okay, easy. Yeah, I'll take scapular. I don't think it's really going to help us all that much since we can't uh, get half hearts, but you never know. Okay. Not delirium again. I thought that was going to be... Uh, actually... Yes, thank you for the cube of meat. That makes me very happy. Because now we have our permanent Polaroid invincibility back. Which is quite useful. I would also really like to have this key, thank you. Um, I don't think we really want any of that stuff. Let's just blow you up and blow you up. I'll take this. And actually, I'll totally take AAA battery as well. I don't know if it works with Tammy's head. Like, I don't know if using it will allow you, you know, if having it will allow you to use Tammy's head more than once per room, but it is possible. 
So let's see. There are three left. Check here. And uh, no. Okay. So I'm I'm running out of keys. Like I have everything else, just no keys. Okay, we made it there. And when I say I have no keys, I don't literally mean that I don't have any keys whatsoever. I mean that compared to the rest of my consumables, I have very few keys. That's what I really mean. Okay. Um we do want to clear all of this, so... What are you? One makes you small? Sure. Take it. So that's everything on that side. Check this out. Grab those. Check this out. Grab all of that. There we go. There's a fairly good chance... Yeah, it doesn't look like you can use uh, Tammy's head more than once, even with Trickle Charge. So we'll probably want to go back for the other Locust then. Once that time comes, anyway. There's Delirium. So we're going to Star's card out. So we know that that one is Delirium. Fair enough. All right. Got a couple more rooms left. Most of them fairly easy. Strength is fine for now. We'll probably want something better that's still strength. Uh, we haven't fought this boss yet. Let's check out and see what this guy is. War. I kind of hate everything for the, about that, but whatever. Uh, we did get... Hmm. I don't think that's going to help. Like, I think it's a little too late for those runes to be to make a difference. I don't think having two I'm drowsy <laughs> does any good either. Um, so, I guess at this point we should check for whatever the most useful card's going to be. Probably like an Empress card or something like that. Maybe Strength? What does Strength do? It's only a very small damage upgrade, so that's probably not what we want. Question mark. Balls of steel? We'll just use it. Sun card. Empress. That'll work. Let's let's roll with Empress. And now we go fight Delirium. And I think we're looking at a pretty respectable daily score, honestly. Oh, ah, there was a tinted rock right there, but whatever. Uh, use I'm drowsy. Okay. I'm not super happy about the damage we took there, but... We do want to keep him in sight. Uh, use the Empress card as well, you fool. To increase your damage. Oh, hi. There he is. Okay. We're getting fairly close to the point here where we're probably going to want to pop Book of Shadows. I think, like, as soon as we think we're going to start taking damage, that's where you want to pop Book of Shadows. Like, as soon as there's any chance. Okay. We may, you know what? Let's pop it. Let's just make sure. Because he's basically dead. There we go. I think that was a pretty respectable daily run. That seemed pretty good to me. Any more consumables? Thank you. And let's see what we got. 134th. Not too bad. I can live with it. A little higher damage penalty than I might like, but everything else seemed pretty good. Good exploration bonus. Everything seems uh, solid to me. Guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.